We start with breaking news in eastern Oregon. High water and a sea of wreckage in eastern Oregon. Air 12 showing trapped semis on I-84 near Pendleton. The highway leading to nothing but water. Flipped and waterlogged RVs littering a lot nearby. And also in Pendleton, a crushed car with water pouring all around it, right next to a semi with its trailer flipped on its side. No words yet on exactly what happened. Some roads buckled, others giving way completely. This is Spring Hollow Road crossing Buckaroo Creek. In Umatilla County, rescuers flew in by helicopter to save a family whose home was trapped by floodwaters. The flooding isn't just impacting people. Check out this video of a herd of cows wading through rising water, a volunteer effort underway to move them to higher ground. And at this hour, there is a section of I-84 that's closed. Take a look. It is a five-mile stretch close to Hermiston. A detour is in place there, and ODOT says this closure, though, could be in place for as long as a week. We have team coverage. Meteorologist Brian McMillan is standing by to tell us if more wet weather is on the way. But we start with Fox 12's John Hendricks. Now, he made the trek to Pendleton and was able to talk with people there who've been impacted by the floods. What else can you tell us, John? Joel, Pete, and Liz, we did learn this afternoon that Oregon Governor Kate Brown has declared a state of emergency for three counties here in eastern Oregon, and for good reason. Give you a look at some of the flooding here. You can see that cars in this neighborhood in Mobile Home Park are underwater. If we move further down Highway 11, you can see how high the water has gotten on some of these homes all the way up to the windows. And then just a little bit further down Highway 11, still flooded out roads where roads are closed here in Pendleton. A sight that is hard to take. The Umatilla River roaring at full strength in Pendleton. And my granddaughter said that it was flooding and we had no idea. This is a tough sight for Connie Wilson. She's just getting into town. Her home now underwater. And this is the worst it's been. Hundreds of homes are underwater. For Wilson, her main concern right now is her pets that may still be trapped by the rising water. I have a car down there. It has moved. It's trash right now and I'm just really worried about my animals right now and they won't let us in right now. This is not the only place dealing with all of this. A rushing river where it should not be at Joe Waters cabin in Adams, Oregon. This is what he sees out his front door. He's been cut off by floods but says he is safe. Bingham Road where he lives washed out by a landslide and high water. Across northeast Oregon, rising rivers sent people from their homes and caused I-84 to close. Semis and cars left stranded in the floodwaters. At Hermiston, the interstate may be closed for days because of damage. All day, two helicopters work to rescue people stranded in their homes and bring them to safety. The Oregon Army National Guard sending in crews to help. So far, more than a dozen and a half people have been rescued. For Wilson... She wants this nightmare to be over, only thinking about what's next. They've got more rain coming in tonight. It's hard telling. We're hoping that it's going to be receded by tomorrow. We'll bring it back out here live tonight where you can see that the river has uh, receded somewhat. It was all the way up here to the sidewalk here along Highway 11. We do want to let folks know that there is some concern over possible sewage in some of these floodwaters. They are asking folks to not go into these waters until they recede. There is a Red Cross shelter that has been set up at the convention center here in Pendleton. Reporting live tonight, John Hendricks, Fox of Oregon.